Okay, uh, Georgia week, very exciting around here right now. Um, you know, when you look at them, we're playing one of the mo most talented teams in the entire country. And I think the good thing for us is we've already played three top ten teams, so it's not going to be, be a shock to our system as far as that goes. And then I think another big factor is we're playing at home. And uh, we're very excited about that. I know our players are too and can't wait to get in front of our fans in this game. Uh, you look at him offensively, it starts with Jake Fromm. Uh, you know, I really feel like he's one of the better players at any position in all of college football. Uh, you look at his career, he's been uh, very consistent. He's a tough guy. Um, it really starts with him. A very, very talented offensive line, very talented running backs. Uh, you know, they're one of the top offenses statistically in our league. You look at them defensively, uh, they have the number one defense in our league right now. Uh, and you watch them on film and you can tell that. Play a lot of defensive linemen. They rotate in and out. Uh, there's really not much drop off. They got great depth there. Their linebackers are very active and they got some secondary that their safeties are very experienced and they got corners that can really run. And, you know, I, I think they've not given up a, a rushing touchdown uh, up to this point. And I don't think that's happened in the last 20 years. So that tells you a little bit about their defense. But uh, overall, like I said, a very, very talented team. But uh, we're really looking forward to playing these guys and uh, our coaches and our and uh, our players are extremely excited. Questions? Okay, that's good. <laughs> Anything else? <clears throat> Well, you gotta you gotta make him uncomfortable. Um, you know, he's got a very good command uh, of his offense. He doesn't hold the ball long. He knows where to go with it. Uh, he can throw the ball away, and when he has to, he can be a running threat too. You know, I just think he's a complete guy. Of course, we played him numerous times. He played right out here two years ago as a true freshman. Showed a lot of toughness, and um, you know, he's. Like I said he's one of the best. That's that's what I believe. Uh, they're always going to be pretty good on defense. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But <clears throat> this is, uh, I mean, statistically, I mean, they're doing things that hadn't been done in 20 years. So that tells you tells you a lot. Uh, you know, you really, until you actually play someone, you can actually answer that question a little bit, a little bit better. But just looking at them on film and you know, what they've done, it's been very impressive. You know, to watch. I will tell you this: they 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 are pressuring a little bit more than they have in the past. Um, so we do expect them to blitz and continue that trend. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the challenge. Everybody that plays them, I mean, you you know, you've got to be able to run the football effectively, I and mean, you can't be one dimensional. And you know, for us to be successful, we're going to have to run the football effectively. And so, I mean, that's really how we're built anyway. So that'll be a really good matchup to watch. And uh, to see what happens. As you again on offense in your career, mm -hmm. this is a big one. You only have a very big game here. Is there a tendency to kind of want to overthink it a little bit and just kind of get too cute with it, maybe? Too cute? Yeah. I don't know. I, I will tell you this it's, it's a lot better to have an extra week, regardless. Um, you know, it gives you a chance. And then, like I've said before, you know, from our standpoint, uh, to heal up, which I think uh, we're going to be pretty healthy coming this thing, which this late in the season I think is is good. Uh, a chance to get better on your own about stuff, and then you get a chance to look at them a little bit, a little bit deeper. Of course, we know them pretty well anyway. But like I said, they're a little bit different uh, than they were last year defensively, just from a pressure standpoint. Um, but you know, especially when you got a young quarterback, I think it even helps that much more to have an extra week, and uh, you know, so. It's good. I don't know about getting cute. We'll see how the game goes, and you can answer that for me probably after the game and see see what you think. Yeah, you know I think that'll be a big factor. I mean, if you really look at this game, I mean you're looking at two of the better defenses in our league in the country, and. Uh, you know, they got a great defense. We know that. And a quarterback, just like you said, he, he's a veteran guy. He's played in big games, and he doesn't turn the ball over a lot. But we've got to make him uncomfortable. But the good thing is we've got a very talented defense, too. And uh, so uh, I know they're 
looking forward to the challenge of uh, facing this group. You know, their offense, and they've got weapons too. You know, at the receiver position, they've got guys that can make plays. And but I really think it starts with the quarterback, and you know, trying to make him uncomfortable. No, no, we really hadn't talked about 2017. Now, here's the good thing for us is there's a lot of our players that will be on that field Saturday that were there. Now, the thing about it, they, they played a bunch of young guys back then too, so they have a lot of guys that have experience too, you know, as far as that goes. But, you know, I think for us, like I said, I mean, it's we're playing at home. And uh, it's a rival game, and you know, I mean, we're really looking forward to it. I mean, this is a great opportunity for us, and that's how we're – Looking and it feels different around here. Of course, every every time you play Georgia, it always feels different. It's one of our rivals. They happen to be one of the top teams in the country, just like they were a couple of years ago. And uh, we're in probably a similar situation as we were a couple of years ago too. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean. That's part of being at Auburn. I mean, the way this schedule sets up, we're going to play them and and uh, our other rival here at the end. I mean, next year that'll change, but you know, it's been that way ever since I've been here. I and mean, this is this is the games people remember, and our players understand that. I mean, our players understand that. They understand how big it is, and they've been looking forward to this one for a long time. I have too. Uh, I know our fans have, so so we get it. But at the same time, man, we're we're excited. This is. This could, this could be a good one. Yeah, I mean, th th these are the two games you look forward to, and, and really two games. I, I want to go back to this game, and I'll I'll, I'll go with that. But this is this is what you look forward to, and like I said, these are the games people remember, and they're very important to to us and our fan base. And like I said, it's good. Um, it's big regardless. I mean, it's big regardless. I mean, you don't really get into, I know it's probably good for y'all to think about, but it's big regardless of what happened last year and, and all this. It's a rivalry game, and uh, it's good as it gets. So, no. you, you've been scoring a lot of points against mid here. Really struggled to score against them for way from here. Yeah. What's the, I mean, obviously the noise and that stuff, but what's the big difference? <laughs> well, I think I think one of is we got a great home field advantage with our fans and uh, just the comfort that we have. And kind of like we talked about Sunday, you know, our, our quarterback's a young guy. He's played better at home, and I think this year that sets well for us. I mean, we got a – I mean, offensively, we got a huge challenge against our defense, uh, no matter whether you're playing in the parking lot or playing out here or there. But, you know – we, we've got a we got a great home field advantage, and uh, I think that has a lot to do with it, not just offensively, but everything. You know, we're a team. We, we, we're, we're, we're a team, and um, that's the way we go into to each game. And, um, you know, we need to play well in all three phases, and, uh, you know, our guys understand that. Yeah, you know, I think the big thing is when they're able to stop the run, then, you know, they can play a little deeper and keep everything in front of them. Um, and they've been able to do that all year. So, you know, you've got to be effective running the football to keep them from that. And uh, their safeties are very good tacklers. Uh, they're uh, veteran guys. They played a lot of football. And uh, then their corners, they can all really, really run. And um, so, you know, I think that's just to make it really simple. You've got to be able to run the football good enough to make them play honest. And if you can't do that, that's that's when they can really um, stay back there deep, keep everything in front of them, and uh, keep away from the big plays. You know, I mean, when we're at our best, we're able to run the football and we've got explosive plays. It doesn't matter if we're playing them or playing somebody else. That's what we need to do. Now, that that's a challenge against this group, but – it's a challenge we're looking forward to. Coach, you talked about it being a rivalry game, but does the opportunity to play spoiler for their college football playoff hopes add into this? 
you know, we have a lot to play for here. You know, that's what we're worried about. We're not worried about them. We're worried about us. And if things turn out good like they did a couple of years ago, I mean, we got we got some really good things ahead of us. So that's the way we're looking at it. Yeah, I mean, I love Auburn. Like I've said in the past, I love my players. we got a bright future here, and uh, nothing's changed.